So two advanced to the consolation semifinals now for Brush. One in the finals. Picking up more team points. This is going to be huge in the team battle. I don't think there's any chance of catching the first couple, but uh, Alamosa kind of running away with it right now. But uh, Brush could move up quite a ways. Yes, they could. Watching for Levi Hottinger. He should be coming up pretty soon. We're into 145 pounds. I guess not on the 3A side. Hottinger, mat number two. We got another brush wrestler out there wrestling right now. Bo Roach is working <laughs> on mat seven. Scores zero to zero at the end of the first period. I didn't even see him out there when finishing up on the end of Peterson's match. Right there at the end, Bo looked like he was about to get the takedown, but he didn't. Bo's wrestling a Sheridan kid. Got to look here. Yes, John Pierce from Sheridan. Bo takes, is on bottom. I didn't see who got that choice either. And the Sheridan wrestler throws in the legs right away. Bo's underneath, balled up right now, right in the center of the mat. Sheridan kid's real high, but Bo gives up a little size on these guys. So he's been, actually had a good tournament this, this year here. We were talking about that yesterday. He usually gives up 13, 14 pounds and most of these 145 pounders are cutting a lot of weight to get down there and he's not cutting at all so now now they get a stalemate so they start bows back on bottom levi hottinger underway on mat number two he's taking on justin westfall of baca county a 26 and 9 senior Bo roach gets a stand up and he's trying to we got a stalling call on sharon for not trying to take him back to the mat stalling calls are quick today so far they must have had a, a meeting last night. Yeah. Well, they, they've, been, they've been pretty quick all weekend, though. Well, and that's one frustrating thing, because they changed last week at our regional tournament when you were watching. I don't think they were quick enough there. Bo Rocha gets a reversal, just sags out the back door, and he's going to go up 2-0. to zero. And he's putting him on his back. He's getting back points. He's got a count. He's got him just a tight waist with a half, maybe. I think that's what it, he's it's got. It's just a tight waist. Look at his hands. He's got a tight waist, and he's... I don't think he's got any. There he's getting two. He's going to get at least two. I was afraid of that. He didn't have enough locked up. But he got two back points and two reversals, so now the score is four to two for a reversal for the Sheridan wrestler with 30 seconds left in the second period. He's working Bo's head pretty hard down there with that ride, but Bo needs to move and get his elbows out. Again, we got a stall call on the Sheridan wrestler, too, for not taking him back to the mat after a quick stand-up. He gets that leg in there and whips it around. But his hips, he rides low with that hip over there on, against Bo. Two to two in Levi oh. Hottinger's match. Bo's getting turned right now in that. There's not enough to get five points or three points, but he's now the score is tied four to four at the end of the second period. Sorry, Jason. Levi Hottinger tied up two apiece. Referee got a little anxious, gave Hottinger a reversal, and then just got re-reversed. It was actually just a roll through, but no harm done. Both, both wrestlers end up with two points apiece. So in the second period there with a minute 23 left. In the third period, the Sheridan wrestler takes down, so Bo Roach is on top. Score is four to four. Sheridan wrestler attempts a quick sit out and Bo grabs his ankle and then he stands up and now he gets a reversal on Bo and puts Bo on his back. That's not good. He's got it, the grapevine in and giving up back points and a reversal. Bo's in trouble. He's got the grandma on is what I've heard it called before where they're Bo's fighting hard but referee's down looking for the pin. Bo gets squirts out so now it's a uh, Scores now nine to four. Bo's behind. Bo should have just given up the escape there instead of trying to keep follow, following the wrestler around. And ended up out of position and on his back. If he'd have just let him go, they'd have been on their feet and he'd have been down by one point. Yep. Young, young wrestling though. Sheridan wrestler just has that 
double legs in right now and just pounding on the back of Roach's neck. Referee calls it a stalemate, gives Bo a chance to get in the neutral, or a referee's position and get a quick stand up like he did before. Josh Baker now wrestling on mat number four. Trying to see the score two to one. Josh Baker losing in that match. Levi Hottinger up on his opponent five to four. Levi trying to get into the medal round. Bo did a stand up and almost got away and I don't know what really happened there but the Sheridan wrestler brought him back to the mat. Bo looked pretty close to having an escape and just one of those things I think the strength has taken over the difference between the weights and the size. The Sheridan wrestler takes him over again and uh, just a half Nelson from the legs and Bo Rocha falls to a pin with 10 seconds left in the third period.